So that would be my dress position. I just feel this pushing up against the cart. When I get to the top of my backswing, and as I'm working to the top of my backswing, I want to feel my left hind end push into the cart or push into the sandbox. Now this is where a lot of people go wrong. Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to create proper hip rotation in golf. I'm going to go over some key concepts that we need to know to use our hips properly. And I'm going to give you a few drills that will have you hitting the ball better than ever. But before we get to that, I've really enjoyed bringing this free content to you and our YouTube community, it's growing. And I want it to continue to grow. And you can help me do that by sharing this content with your golfing friends, liking this video when it's over, subscribing to my YouTube channel by clicking on that little red square in the corner of this video. And that just tells you when I have new videos available for you to watch. And then comment. Leave me some questions down below or let me know of some future videos you'd like to see. Okay, so the first thing we have to talk about is our posture. If I'm gonna use my hips correctly during the golf swing, I've gotta be in a position that I can engage them. And so I look to posture and there's a few key things that I'm looking for. The first thing is as I set up to the golf ball, I wanna see the, the ball of the hip joint, which is right about here, over my ankle or, or over the middle of my foot. I don't want to see my heels underneath my hip joint and then I certainly don't want to be all the way back here and see my toes are underneath my hip joint. So I want to see about the middle of the foot underneath the hip joint and again this will put me in a position to use my hips properly during the golf swing. Now there's one other thing that I look for and I don't hear many teachers talking about it, but I talk about it. And notice my shins are pointing to the ground. So I'm not in a position where my shins are pointing straight out in front of me. As I set up and I get my feet under my hip joint, you can see my shins are oriented more towards the ground. And, and this inclines or engages my pelvis in a way that I can go ahead and rotate it properly during a golf swing. So the first thing that I would like you to check or like you to do, you put yourself on video and you're like, hey, I don't think I'm really using or engaging my hips the way that I should during the golf swing. Or you're playing golf and you're like, my golf swing feels like all arms. I don't have any hip rotation. I'm not involving my legs. This is the first thing that I want you to look at. You know, get yourself on video, which is easy to do these days with the iPhones that we have and Androids that we can film ourselves very easily. Have a friend do it for you if you need to. But again, set up. Make sure that your hip joint is at least over your ankle or the, the middle of your foot as you're setting up. And then take a, a peek at your shins. Are they oriented towards the ground or are they pointing more out in front of me? And if we can get into that position, we're gonna to start to engage and use our hips a little bit better. All right, so my focus is gonna be getting in the best posture that I can to engage those hips. So as I set up, I'm checking to make sure the hip joint is over the middle of my foot. I'm making sure that my shins, I can see them very plainly or oriented down towards the ground. And then I'm gonna make the best swing that I can. Okay, so we're in a great posture that we can now go ahead and use our hips properly during the golf swing. Let's now get into a little greater detail of what using our hips properly during the golf swing looks like. And there's a couple things that should happen. And, and so as I set up to the golf ball, and again, I've got my good setup like we just went over, and I'm just gonna put this club across my, my belt line or across my hips. And as I get to the top of the back swing, Okay, you can see how my right leg is extending or it's straightening. I'm not locking it out, but, it, but it's getting straighter, it's extending. And as that happens, my trail hip, which for me is my left hip, is getting more behind me. And this is allowing me to get my back and my hind end 
turn to the target. And I'm going to show you that from face on. So again, I'm in, I'm in the very good posture that we just talked about. And as I go to the top of my backswing, you can see the right, excuse me, the left leg, my trail leg is extending and my left hip or trail hip is going behind me. And as I do that, you can see my back and my hind end are facing the target. So I have created as much turn as I possibly can. So where do people go wrong here? Well, first of all, I see people that, you know, they'll turn their to torso, but the lower body really doesn't do much. And, and that was the whole X factor thing, which through 3D we find uh, isn't the most efficient way to do it for distance. And the other thing that I see is people will make this, they'll leave some bend in this trail leg and they'll sway off the golf ball. And as I do that, I compress or I push down on my trail hip. And so I can't really get it to turn. I can't maximize my turn for maximum distance. I can't maximize my turn or my hip rotation. So again, from down the line, I put it across my, my waist or across my belt. What I want to see is that trail leg straighten slightly and then it releases this hip. I can get my back and my hind end to the target. So that takes care of the back swing. You know, now what's going to happen through the rest of the golf swing. So once I get in a good posi position to the top of my back swing and you notice that my right hip is now pointing at the golf ball or, or facing the golf ball, my right hip or my right hip pocket. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to reverse that. And by the time I get through to my finish, you can see my left hip pocket is now pointing at the golf ball. And I hear a lot of different things from a lot of different students. They'll say, yeah, I'm going to take my lead hip and I'm going to point it to the golf ball. And then on the downswing, I'm going to take my trail hip and I'm going to point it to the golf ball. Some people think exactly the opposite. They'll say, all right, I want this trail hip to get out of my way. And then on the downswing, I want this lead hip to get out of the way. And I've heard every combination in between. I don't care how you think of it. I just want to make sure that it happens. I'm going to give you one more good communicator to make sure that this happens properly. And to dive a little deeper into that is again, I see people who make a really good backswing and then they start to get their hips open on the downswing. But notice how I'm kind of hanging on this back foot. So this goes back to the pivot and making a proper pivot, which a pivot is just a fancy word for getting my belt buckle to the target. But as they make that pivot, or as we make that pivot, we want to make sure three dimensionally that we get closer to the target. So the thought is, is as I get to the top of my backswing and I've got good use of my hips in the backswing, I want to make sure I get that trail hip all the way through to my target. And then I'm in that nice balanced PGA Tour finish, which you've heard me talk about before in other videos. Now we're going to hit another golf ball and we're going to see if we can work on getting this lower body and in, in my hips to work more efficiently in my golf swing. And a great way to do it is just start with some rehearsal swings. I'm going to let that left hip get out of the way. I've got a very deep turn with my hips or my back and my hind end are to the target. And then I'm going to make sure that I get all the way through and to keep that trail hip or that left hip going again all the way through. I'm going to now put it into a golf swing, rehearsal swing, and then we're going to go ahead and hit one. Good posture to start. Shins are pointing towards the ground. Deeper hip rotation back and through and the result is right on target. Okay, now we're going to take a little bit more of a scientific dive into how the hips work during the golf swing. And to do this, I'm going to use a cart because I'm out here on the driving range, I'm on the golf course. But if you're at home watching this video, you can get up against a wall and do exactly the same thing. And if you go out to the driving range or if you're on the golf course and you're even in the middle of a round, you can do what I'm about to show you as long as you got a golf cart with you. So what happens, and we know this through 
motion capture systems, 3D systems. There's a system out there called Gears. And as we watch good players use their hips properly in the golf swing, there's a couple things that we see. So the first thing that we see at address is everybody has their hips open just slightly, even though you're not trying to, it's just the way that, that we set up to a golf shot. And so if, they're, if I'm standing against a wall or I'm against my cart here, what I wanna, find, what I wanna feel is I wanna feel like my right hind end is kinda pushing into the sandbox here or into the cart. So that would be my dress position. I just feel this pushing up against the cart. When I get to the top of my backswing, and as I'm working to the top of my backswing, I wanna feel my left hind end push into the cart or push into the sandbox. Now this is where a lot of people go wrong. So I'm, I'm at the top of my backswing here. When I get back to impact, I actually wanna feel my hind end, both sides against the cart. And what happens here is most people will come off the cart. And honestly, when I do that relative to my normal swing, I really feel like I'm pushing my hind end back through impact, like I'm pushing it back. And then if we carry through to the finish again, my right hind end is gonna be back on the cart. So let's walk through that one more time. At address, I'm gonna have my right hand, hind end touching the cart. As I work back into the top of my backswing, my left, end, my left hind end is touching the cart or the sandbox. As I get back down to impact, both are touching and I feel like I'm pushing my hind end against the cart. And then when I get to the finish, my hind end is still resting up against the cart or the wall, whatever it is that you're using. So what's the swing fault that we see? Like where do the everyday player, because that's what we see with tour players and, and really elite players, where does the everyday player get in trouble? And it happens right at the start of the takeaway. So as soon as they start the club back, as they make an effort to get this right hip or their lead hip towards the golf ball, notice how I'm separating from the card. Or if you're at home, you might feel yourself separating from the wall. And so as I do that and I get to the top of my backswing, now I start my downswing and guess what? I'm, I'm out of position here. My, my body's in the way. So we start to do things to get our body out of the way so I can make contact with that golf ball. Or we start to use our arms and the club in a different way so I can make contact with that golf ball. So again, just start to train, get up against the wall, get up against a cart, start to train using your lower body correctly. Okay, so we've trained a bunch with a wall or with our golf cart at the golf course or a wall at home or at the gym, and we're starting to feel like we're using our hips better in the golf swing. Now we're gonna go ahead and actually put it into a golf swing. But again, I wanna rehearse that, so I'm gonna feel like or imagine that wall or that golf cart's behind me and I'm gonna push in with my left hind end in the backswing. When I get to impact, I'm gonna feel like both of them are touching. And then when I get to the finish, I'm gonna feel more like just my right hind end is touching the cart or pushing up against the wall. And we're gonna put this into a golf swing and, and see how it feels. Yeah, so that was great, and that felt the most solid of all the shots that I've hit so far today. So now you understand how to create proper hip rotation in golf. We've gone over some key posture items that will help you to engage your hips better. We took a deeper dive into using our hips during the golf swing, and then I gave you a fantastic drill that will have you hitting the ball better than ever. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have two more here right now that I promise will continue to help you improve your game. And remember, please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and comment.